Once upon a time, there were three friends who lived in a poor village. They dreamed of going to the city and finding better opportunities for themselves. One day, they packed their bags and set off on their journey. They walked for many miles, crossing hills and valleys, until they reached a dense forest. They were very tired and hungry, and they had no food or water left. As they wandered through the forest, tired and hungry, they saw a magnificent pomegranate tree adorned with bright red fruits hanging from its branches and they felt their mouths water. The friends couldn't resist the temptation, they decided to pick some fruits. They plucked three plump pomegranates and sat under the shade of the tree, and they eagerly cut open the first fruit to satisfy their hunger. Little did they know their simple act would unravel a magical tale. As the first pomegranate split open, with a burst of shimmering light a radiant fairy emerged, with wings as delicate as rose petals. She looked at the friend with pleading eyes and said, Please give me water, or I will perish. The boys were astonished and shocked, and quickly searched for the bottle, but it was empty. In the meantime, the fairy grew weaker and weaker, until she breathed her last. The friend was sad and disheartened. He blamed himself for the fairy's death. They shared a somber meal, blaming themselves for the fairy's untimely demise. The story of the enchanted pomegranate lingered in their minds as they continued their journey, a tale to be retold around campfires. In a night, while resting, they cut the second pomegranate. To their surprise, there was another red fairy inside the fruit. She also asked for water, but again they had none. They watched helplessly as the fairy died in front of their eyes. They felt guilty and remorseful but curious as well. They asked, why are they inside the pomegranates? What are they doing here? Now they were curious about the third pomegranate. What if there's another fairy, wondered one of the friends. They decided to open the last pomegranate near a source of water in daylight. Next morning, they started searching for water. Their search led them to a serene lake hidden within the woodland. One friend carefully filled a bottle with water, while the other prepared to open the final pomegranate. With delicate hands and hearts pounding, they cut into the fruit. And there she was, another dainty fairy, her eyes sparkling with life. The kind-hearted friend gently cradled her, and the second friend filled a leaf with a few drops of water and poured it into the fairy's mouth. As the water touched the fairy's lips, a miraculous transformation occurred, and fairy come to her senses fluttering her wings. The three friends were amazed to see the fairy alive and well. They asked her who she was and why she was inside the pomegranate. The fairy said, We are three sisters, and we have been in pomegranate for over a hundred years. Thank you very much for saving me, please save my sisters and I will tell you the whole story we were going through.